We can't direct the winds, but we can adjust the sails. This time, I've come with some lifestyle changes that you can make to uplift your mood and to lessen your chances of being depressed. Physical Exercise Body produces endorphins which are natural mood lifters and serotonin which helps regulate mood. Outdoor exercises are the best because nature is the best healer. You may also join a gym, sign up for a dance class, do yoga, go cycling or whatever exercise that suits you. There are many such online classes that you can start off with if you are not in a position to move out of your house. It improves your self-esteem, you become more active and you feel a sense of accomplishment and the post-workout glow is a bonus. It's a different glow when you are active and crushing workouts. Soak up the sun Spend some time in the sun. Simply soak up all that sunshine and feel revived. Take a stroll outside. Create a small cozy sitting corner in the balcony to read books, drink coffee or to just feel the sun on your skin. Exposure to sunlight is thought to increase the brain's release of serotonin which is associated with boosting mood. So, draw the curtains, open the windows and let your house flood with happy sunshine. Yoga and Meditation Yoga is exercise for mind, body and soul. It slows down your mental chatter through breath work and polishes your spirit. Here are 5 yoga poses that help in fighting depression. Shishu Asana or the Child Pose Hala Asana or the Plow Pose Shava Asana or the Corpse Pose Adho Mukha Shwanasana or the Downward Facing Dog Pose and Sedu Bandhasana, Bridge Pose. We have no dirt of yoga teachers. Find one in your locality and get started or opt for one online. Meditation has too many benefits to list here. It calms our mind, it boosts our brain power, various breathing exercises also which you can make a part of your daily routine. Utilize the healing powers of serene sense. Smell is the sense of memory. The smell of the rain, the scent of the roses or a hot cup of coffee can lift your mood. According to aroma therapists, what we inhale directly affects our chakras and nadis. So, when you feel low, use these scents to uplift your spirit. Lavender, camphor, rose, sandalwood, tulsi, lemon, sweet orange, they relax your mind. Peppermint and eucalyptus makes you feel fresh. Smell of freshly brewed coffee can make you feel active. So you can use soaps and shower gels made of these scents while having your bath. You can also use aroma diffusers to make your room smell good. You may burn resins like myrrh and frankincense to lift your mood. Aromatic oil massages will also help you relax. Music can help you heal. Music is food for soul and mind. Music can evoke emotional responses. Depending on the music we listen to, we feel sad, calm or happy and sometimes we just feel like dancing along. So, when you feel sad, listen to music to lift up your spirit and to relax. Here are some ragas for you to consider. Bilahari is considered to make you joyous. Samaraga can reduce anxiety. Madhyamavati raga can make you feel calm. Listen to them and let their vibrations heal you. It is said that if you listen to music of slower tempo, then it relaxes your mind and body. So, you can combine music with exercises and yoga for double benefit. Engage in some social activity. We are all social beings who want to feel belonged. Positive social interactions can uplift your mood. Help your close friends and family. Meet them occasionally. Go for recreational activities. Join an NGO and work for a cause. Join a gym. Take classes on things that interest you. By doing all this, you feel occupied and active and you will have less time to worry unnecessarily about your future or your past. Connect with other living things, plants and pets. Bond with plants and flowers. Plants are not only pleasing to the eyes, but they give you a feeling of accomplishment and control when you take care of them 
and they grow beautifully in front of your eyes. You learn to appreciate things around you. It boosts your self-esteem. We learn to turn the focus away from our own lives for some time at least. Self-absorption can contribute to depression. Or you can get a pet. Whenever you feel let down and you feel like you don't want to be judged and all you require is a warm hug, then you will have your pet to turn to. Pets provide us with responsibility and we become nurturers. Cuddling with them makes us feel good and playing with them is a happy exercise. Go for a walk after dinner. Going for a walk after dinner not only improves digestion and bodily metabolism but also helps in feeling good, happy and creative and it might help in beating insomnia. Keep a diary. Before going to bed, take a minute to count your blessings. Even if you had a bad day, remember that it was just a bad day and not a bad life and we don't know what our future beholds. Things don't always go as we planned, so remember to let go sometimes. Our anxiety does not come from thinking about the future but from wanting to control it. Write down even the smallest of the smallest thing that made you happy and remember that we are still growing and our experiences are shaping us. Now let's come to the most important lifestyle change. A diet. Diet and depression. Just like we are what we think, it is said that we are what we eat. Diet is such an important component of mental health that it has inspired an entire field of medicine called nutritional psychiatry. We know that people who are depressed have an unhealthy eating habit. So is eating unhealthily in any way causing depression or is depression causing one to eat that way? It is thankfully not a chicken and egg situation because researchers suggest that a healthy diet can lower your risk of becoming depressed. Let's take a look at the diet that one should follow. Walnuts, one of the highest plant-based sources of omega-3, provides you higher levels of optimism and energy. Fish is also a very rich source of omega-3. Include a lot of chickpeas in your diet. Green leafy vegetables like spinach are also very rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Pudina is loaded with vitamins and minerals. Menthol helps cure insomnia by keeping your mind calm and lets you sleep in peace. The probiotic component of yogurt is considered to reduce depression. Gotukola Brahmi or Centella Asiatica is a traditional medicinal plant which is believed to have antidepressant activity. Include seeds like flax seeds, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds and squash seeds in your diet. You can roast them and eat as a snack or grind them and sprinkle over your salads. Add a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables in your diet. Whole grains like wheat, brown rice, oats, quinoa, ragi should be included in your diet. Intake of fiber-rich food also helps to fight depression. They include coconuts, apples, almonds, sesame seeds and bananas. Emphasize a vegetarian diet and avoid red meat, processed food and alcohol. I hope you are motivated enough now. So get started and get going with a smile on your face. Thank you.